OK. So in the last example, we had a monomial, right? Last example, we had a monomial. Yeah. Now we have a binomial. And these are great problems because, again, these drive home exactly the same operations. You guys were given zeros, right? You guys remember we were given zeros like 1 plus square root of x, and then you had to use the conjugate, and you had to multiply them. So multiplying, hopefully, square roots is something that you guys have done um, for as far as your homework. So the same thing. We need to get rid of the radical. The only way to get rid of the radical, hopefully you guys remember, when you have a number and you multiply it by its conjugate, that gets rid of that it gets rid of the radical. So one minus square root of x is going to get rid of it, and I'll explain here in a second. If you guys remember, this is like the difference of two squares. I've done examples that are similar to this. Hopefully you guys remember that the middle terms are going to cancel out, right? A is the same, b is the same, plus or minus. The middle term cancels out. So all you simply need to do up top here is apply distributive property. So this becomes 3x minus 3x square root of x. The denominator, you just multiply the first terms and the last terms. Because this is an example of difference of two squares, where the middle terms are going to cancel out. If you want to do the whole FOIL, do the whole FOIL. But you'll get the same answer. Now, what's the square root of x squared? x. So my final answer is 3, actually. Let's factor out a 3x. I factored out the x, or the 3x up top. You guys can see that they both share a 3x up top. So I just factored that out, because that's probably a, that's a more of a simplified answer. And then that I just left as 1 minus x. OK.